In this video, I will show you how you can add a roadmap feature like this to your iPhone and macOS apps where the users can vote on which features you should work on next. And they also see a list of everything that's planned or in the works right now. This video is based on a new Swift package by Hide, Antoine and Jordi. You can find their links in the video description and also the link to this Swift package and it makes it insanely easy to add a roadmap like this to your apps. It's literally two lines of code it doesn't get any easier than this. So having a look at the example project is just a completely empty macOS app. And uh, realistically, you of course already have your app built out probably, and then you just want to add a navigation link uh, to do what we are about to do just in our content view right here. But first of all, we of course need to import the package. So for that, let's go to GitHub and let's just copy the GitHub URL. Going back to Xcode, let's say file add packages and I'll always wait a few seconds here and then I'll just paste the URL and I'll say add package and add package again and now we're good to go now we can just import roadmap into our content view and let me re-indent everything here as always you know the drill all right so the setup is incredibly easy we can just get rid of our vstack here and instead just use the roadmap view. Now this takes in a roadmap configuration and there you can specify a style or if the um, item should be shuffled, whatever. Um, you can explore that on your own. The uh, most important part is that you provide a URL to a JSON file that's hosting your roadmap. Well, you might say you don't have any server where you can host that, but that's no problem whatsoever. They also give an example here in the documentation. This is their example JSON file, so let's just copy that real quick. And they're saying they recommend to use simplejsoncms.com. So let's click on that link and there we have it. The website is super simple. We just press new document and then say show text editor. And then in here we just paste the example that we took. So this is just a very simple uh, yeah, JSON, JSON structure. For each of your items, you will have to add an ID, which is unique, a title, then the status and a description. And I believe the description yeah, is optional. So we're just going to use this simple example here. Now we can just hit save and you can add a password to your JSON file so others can edit it. In this case, it doesn't matter since this is just for this tutorial. And then what we are going to do is just grab this API link up here, copy it and go back to Xcode. And then we will just create this URL from a string and pass in that string here. And then make sure to force unwrap the URL. I know, I know, force unwrapping, not the best thing to do, but with URLs really, uh, what's your other option? And then in the live preview here, doesn't look like anything is happening. Before we launch the app, let's also give it a frame with a fixed width and height of let's say 600 by 600. And before we actually run the app, there's one more thing I have to do. Just me, because yeah, this is just an example project and I just created it. I have to allow outgoing connections. Otherwise the package can't connect to our JSON file and to the account API that they're using to keep track of how often the users voted on these. So here for uh, combined sentences, we have one cell and then for open with finder support, we have one cell. These are the two examples that we had in our JSON file. If we open that up real quick again, we had combined sentences as one feature and then open with finder support as a second feature. And now the interesting part is that users can actually vote on these and then the votes will get counted and each device can only vote once. And I believe they're using the count API under the hood. So very simple stuff actually, but I just love how easy it is to set this up and works the exact same way for an iOS app as well. Just put in that roadmap view into any place of your app really realistically probably in the app settings and then you have a navigation link leading to your roadmap view. Then you just have your configuration. Of course, you don't have to create that in line. You could also uh, copy that and say config here and then let's just say let config equals this thing. Then we have factored it out of the view body. Might be a bit nicer. And it even works in the preview. Nice. Didn't even notice that before. 
Alright, so setting up a roadmap has never been easier, really. It takes, I'd say, three minutes to do and then a few more minutes to add all of your items. Now, one more thing I would probably want to add is a toolbar button. So people can also suggest new features. So I would create a button here saying uh, suggest feature. And this isn't integrated within roadmap, but what we can do is just open the mail app and let the user send an email to you. So for that, we will use the environment for dot open URL. And then in here, we can just say open a URL from a string. Once again, we will have to force unwrap this here. And the URL is just mail to colon and then your email address. Just like that. And now if you run the app again, you will notice that we have a toolbar item up here saying suggest feature. And if I click on that, then the email app will open. And there we have it, the email app opened a new email window with our recipient already filled in. And that way the users can suggest new features and then you can just go to your JSON file, edit it and add a new item here with that new feature so users can vote on it. Alright, so be sure to check out Roadmap on GitHub and leave them some love, perhaps start a project and use it in your own apps. If you do so, I would appreciate a comment letting me know that you actually used this tip and please also subscribe to the channel to not miss any future SwiftUI videos. Thank you and see you in the next one. Yeah.